Hey guys, I'm back today to give you a review on the new NARS palette. Um, I tried to review this yesterday, my audio is all screwed up, so I'm doing it again today. You're not going to get a look, like a full eye look and everything, a demo, um, but I will give you my thoughts since I've kind of used this for quite a few days now. So yeah, let's just get into the video. This is the NARS Cool Crush Eyeshadow Palette. Um, there are 12 shades in here. And each shade is 1.2 grams. This is very standard for all of their little 12 pan eyeshadow palettes. This is $59 a Nordstrom exclusive. Here is what the shades on the inside look like. Very pretty. I also am wearing right now the NARS Loaded Lip Lacquer and playing around. And this is also in this collection. I believe there's four of them. There's also a four pan face palette. I didn't buy that because I didn't think it was worth it. So yeah, I just have these two products and we're, mainly, <laughs> we're mainly going to be focusing on the eyeshadow palette today. It has a two blue colors, like a burgundy red, a peach, a cool toned pink, a lighter pink, a brown bronze color, a gold, um, like very different tones in here and that's my kind of main complaint along with um the blue shades aren't that great uh the matte blue in there is kind of patchy this blue shade is very dry and almost gritty and sandy in the pan it's not the prettiest shimmer that they have like it looks okay in swatches with lights and everything but feels very gritty in the pan so if you're buying this for the blue shades, they are definitely not worth it. The darker blue down here with a little bit of like glitter, but it's mainly a matte there. Um, it does not blend out well. It was patchy for me. Did not like it. The burgundy shade here blended out pretty well. And then my other complaint with this palette is just the tones are completely crazy for each shade. I feel like you have blues in here. You have peach tones. You have maroon colors you have mid-tone browns like there's just so many different tones in here that it's really hard to make a complete look like this is like i think the standard look that you would get um i used this shade right here then i used this shade and this shade and then i topped it with this gold shade and then this like light shimmer the shades in here are really pretty um, and blend really well, work really well, similar to all the other NARS palettes except for those two blue shades. Those are really the downfall of this palette and I think they're what makes this palette the most interesting, so that's a little bit disappointing. It definitely could have been done a lot, a lot better. Um, there's three of their hardwired shimmers in here and those perform beautifully, really beautiful, smooth, shimmery. Their light champagne in here is gorgeous. Again, all of the shades in here perform really well. The only other gripe that I have with this palette is these two shades um, up top here. This one and this one. This one is, um, a <laughs> is a complete matte. This one has like a little bit of satin finish to it. Um, this They are very similar in shade. Like... It's, it's very, like, I swatched them here, like, they're very similar, not in tone, but very similar in, like, they're just really similar shades to be in one palette, um, yeah. So, if you are really light skin tone, this is not going to work as a setting shade on you. It's actually more of like a super light transition, which I don't really find super, super helpful considering there's another slightly deeper shade that you could use for transition. So, because those two shades are so light, I don't think this is like a great palette for deeper skin tones. There aren't a lot of deep shades in here, um, except for like that maroon and that blue and the blue is shitty, pretty much. So, yeah, I don't think this is, like, an amazing palette. I think it's nice. I don't 
like 100% tell you to go get it. But if you want to buy it just like as a collector's thing, I don't think you'll just be disappointed as long as you know that those two blue shades are not it. So um, they also have the Afterglow palette. I didn't review that one because I just didn't get it fast enough to kind of put up a review and everything. But that one I prefer much more over this one because the tones in there are so much more cohesive. Whereas here you have like cool toned pinks along with like burgundies and blues again like I said and bronzes and golds like I just think it's a lot and it's kind of I feel like a hot mess um and I don't find those shades in there to be particularly unique so it's not like a whole palette of really cool unique shades it's like a few shades that are interesting mixed with other shades that don't really go well with the interesting shades at all and the blue shades are not good so personally I wouldn't recommend this to you unless you just want it as a collector's item and you really love NARS eyeshadows I think you can get better palettes for $60 I highly re recommend their afterglow palette over this one their ignited palette I'm not sure if that one's still available I love that one much more more than this one as well so this is like a step above their holiday palettes for me but it's still not like super amazing like most of the shades in there are really good I just don't like the color combinations and then the two blue shades fall a little bit flat for me so overall that just kind of puts it in the middle of the palettes like for NARS it's not their super super best palette but it's also not their worst so yeah, I hope this helps you with your buying decisions for this palette. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I also have a giveaway going on um, in my last video and that's still going on until the 28th, I believe. So you guys can still enter. Um, there's only about 10 or 12 people entered. So you guys have a definitely a good chance of winning compared to a lot of other giveaways that are going on right now. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!